Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Turns out bad beef really did cause tennis pro Robert Faraz doping fall. Contaminated Colombian meat to be exact. That and testimony from his mom and Faraz is back in the game. The International Tennis Federation has accepted Faraz's claim. He said he ate contaminated meat cooked by his mom, Ava, in his native Colombia, and that's what caused him to fail a drug test back on October 17th. The ITF ruled that Farah bears no fault or negligence for the violation. The doubles world number one, who skipped the Australian Open while officials sorted through all the details, has been reinstated and can return to the pro circuit immediately. The 33-year-old Colombian took to Twitter to thank his family, his friends, and his fans for their belief and their support through this process. Now, he failed that out-of-competition doping test last October in Cali, Colombia, when something called boldenon was found in his urine sample. Now, boldenon is an anabolic steroid commonly used on cattle to promote growth before slaughter, and it's legal in Colombia. From the start, Farah, who did pass tests on October the 2nd and 7th, claimed it was the meat, saying that two weeks before the test, he did an anti-doping test in Shanghai, which had a negative result. He was also tested at least 15 other times randomly in the international circuit throughout the year with the same negative result. By the way, this case shows the value of keeping receipts because they can be used as supporting evidence. Farah was able to support his claim that he was visiting his mom through travel records and his passport. His mom provided receipts from the local supermarket where she purchased the beef two days before her son's positive test. The supermarket manager, in turn, showed receipts documenting the source of the meat, which was a processing plant in northern Colombia. Cattle ranchers testified to using boldenon. So, taking all that into account, the ITF ruled that Farah was not at fault because he did not know the meat contained boldenon, nor were there any red flags on any of his drug tests before that. And also, the level of boldenon in his test results was so low, it was consistent with his claims about the beef. Now, Farah and his doubles partner, Juan Sebastian Cabal, partnered in an historic 2019 season. They captured five titles and became the first Colombians to win Wimbledon and U.S. Open doubles crowns, which earned them the ATP Doubles Team of the Year. So what happened to Farah was a huge blow. Well, now they can resume that partnership. What a crazy thing to happen. And now we know the beef. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.